Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is rewards day. You may be thinking, why am I not uploading your rewards video right now? There is a reason, I'm gonna tell you about it. Because I'm recording this video on Wednesday night to put it up for Thursday for you guys. You're gonna see a lot of rewards videos today, but there's one thing that I wanna talk to you guys about. As you are completing your Thursday flips, which are all fine, dandy, and good, market's gonna rise after rewards, which was previous uh, to this video going live. Um, sell your flips, get them out. But we need to look for the next market moves for this next team of the season coming out this weekend, which is La Liga. We're going to be getting the La Liga team of the season, and we need to look at investing in some cards and look at some trends from last week. It's happened now twice with the Bundesliga and with the Premier League. We've had some major, major market movements, and it's going to be no different this week. A new fresh batch of coins is going to come onto the market with weekend league rewards. People are very rich right now in this game, and they're paying a premium for cards, and that is causing a lot of cards on the market to shoot up in price. Now, don't worry. I will have a rewards video. That'll be coming out on Friday. I'll be recording those uh, later in the day on Thursday. But we need to look at the market and what you guys need to be looking out for Thursday night, tonight and into Friday. That's what I want to be talking about with you guys today. I'm going to start off with a few examples of cards that have boomed this week with the new team of the season coming out. John and Sancho's FFS card, a usual riser on Thursdays. Look at this. Every You go back every week. Tuesday, 445, he goes to 480 on Saturday. Thursday, 411, he hits 444. So this card is a hype card that goes up every week. But look what happens when Bundesliga Tots comes out. He goes down to 419,000 coins. And on Friday, it says 447. I can tell you for a fact, in the morning, before the team of the season came out, and especially right after they released the actual team of the season that was going to be coming out. So people saw that he was getting a Tots card. They went and they panic sold their 90-rated Sancho's. He went from 409,000 coins, he was panic sold down to that point, and look where he's boomed to, 500,000 coins on Saturday, he's back up to 500k, and he had a nice dip in the midweek as well. So we're going to talk about buying on Thursday and Friday, selling on Friday night into Saturday, and then buying again Sunday night into Monday, and looking to sell these cards again for Thursday flips later in the week. This is guaranteed money. It's going to happen again this week with La Liga. More people are starting to catch on to it though, so we need to be careful with our buy times and with the cards that we choose. We need to make sure that the cards that we choose are very hyped, are very popular, and also very meta in game. Sancho fits all three of those categories with his stats, um, and especially the hyper on this card being English and Dortmund, so he's easy to link in multiple different leagues. Now. It's not about, it's not all those cards like the 500k range, 200k plus. If you're in a smaller budget, maybe you only have 500,000 coins to mess around with. Um, you know, this this card would have been a great investment for you. Last week, before Tots started, 60,000 coins. We'll ignore this low point because that was after Frankfurt lost, um, I believe. After Frankfurt had lost and his card was no longer a live item. But this card has insane stats. For Bundesliga coming up, he gets a, um, a perfect link to Jovic, I do believe. Team this season, Jovic. And this is a pretty sick card. So look what, he, look what happens to him. Bundesliga Tots comes out on Friday. He shoots up in price, 64k to 72. Not too much. But now look at it. He's 80,000 coins after another midweek dip into the 60s. So this is another type of card that you want to be looking for. And we're going to be looking at cards from La Liga here in just a second so I can start to give you guys some examples and you know just kind of talk to you about what cards you're going to want to look at during this weekend. So again, I want to talk through the buy times just a little bit. We're going to look at another card to give you guys an example of this. The Headliner Royce. Now this isn't just for all the top cards on the market. All the cards moved. Oh my gosh. Look at this. He goes from 377,000 coins on Thursday all the way up now to 519k, which is a massive undercut. Look, he's 554. He's gone up 200,000 coins in a week. That's how much this card has gone up. We have to get on this, boys. This is incredible, incredible trading. And we can honestly double dip as well. You can buy on Thursday, Friday morning, sell on Saturday, and then buy again on Sunday night at an even increased price, but it still continues to go up, especially for a card like Royce, who everybody wants to have in their Bundesliga team. So that's kind of the buy time and the sell time for the, the movements of the market 
for this uh, team of the season stuff. And I also want to look at some other special cards as well because it's not just that top tier card that moved. All of these moved. Look at this Royce, 150k on Thursday. Look where he's at now, 225. He he's almost up 100k. Crazy, crazy, insane market movements. All right, I've shown you enough of the proof that it's going to happen, and then it works. Let's look at some possible players from La Liga. So this is what I have been doing. Go into the FIFA 19 players database right here using this, click this link right here. Go over to leagues, go down to top five and click over to La Liga Santander and boom, you're looking at all the La Liga cards. Now we're, we're gonna focus on special cards, probably not golds because they're not gonna have as good a of a return, but we're gonna be looking at special cards and it doesn't matter whether they get a tots, whether they don't get a tots, if it's a popular player with good stats and a player that people are going to use when they're building teams around these new tots players on the weekend and on Thursday after rewards, they're going to fly. They're seriously going to fly. Now, one favorite player that I have looked at already is Antoine Griezmann. Will he get a team of the season? I think he will. But if Royce's team of the season just this last week was three and a half million coins on the first day, four million coins. This Griezmann Tots card is gonna be at that price level for sure. He's gonna be three million coin card, and you're gonna look at this card being panic sold maybe down to 750. Maybe this card on, on uh, PS4 goes to like the mid to low 800s at its lowest. I'm not sure what the PS4 prices, I'm talking Xbox, but look at the PS4 graphs, and you'll be able to decipher what a good buy price is for these cards. You might see this card get panic sold a little bit, maybe down 40, 50,000 coins. But when that next high level card is um, 4 million coins or 3 million coins, people are going to buy back this card in a hurry. It's going to draw hype to this player. And he's very linkable. Uh, yes, he kind of is in Mbappe's position. So that's the only bad thing about this card. Um, but maybe this one is one that you would like to look at as well. I think Griezmann's going to be a huge rebounder because people love Griezmann in this game. I remember. Early on in the beginning of the year, everybody had the gold Griezmann in their team just because his finesse shots were great. Finesse shots are still a great thing in this game. He's got the four-star skills, and he's just a player that a lot of people like to use, very linkable as well, being French. So watch these cards. Honestly, watch them. Watch their fluctuations in price. Griezmann right now is 540 on Xbox. He's a little bit up. I bought two of them actually last night for 470k. People know that these cards don't sell a lot, so to get them to sell, they have to undercut and that's how you get some of these deals, and that's what you're gonna be watching for on Thursday and on Friday. Now, obviously you're thinking, well, wait, Nate, Thursday is when the market goes up after rewards. Yes, that's true, but some of these cards, if we look at Royce again, his lowest point was on Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday for this card was his lowest point. This also drags into Friday morning as people are panic selling, but that's when a lot of people are going to be looking at the market. So I want you guys to look at this stuff today, Thursday night. This is your time to get on some of this stuff before other people are getting on to this, this uh, method that a lot of people are going to be doing this week. And that's why we need to be careful with the cards that we pick as well. So let's go back here. Another card that I want to point out is Lionel Messi. And I think my favorite Messi card out of all of these is probably this one or maybe his, his team, the group stage, because this one has such a huge price difference from the, um, wow, $7.99 is a fantastic deal on that Messi card, to be honest. But this one is a lot cheaper than a lot of the other ones. And if you need a Messi in your team, let's say you pack a Suarez team of the season, you know, there's a lot of people in this game this year that have a million coins where they could splash some of it on a Messi. That's why I like this card. Not as many people are going to be able to buy the 1.8 million coin card, and he just has a lot of cards up here at the top. So we're going to focus on the lower level Messi cards. Sorry for that background uh, buzzing if you do hear that. That's uh, my apologies. But focus on the lower level Messi cards because he is going to rebound. As people love Messi, he's going to get a team of the season card, and, you know, that's just a very popular and hype card in this game right there. But again, focus on the 500,000 coins and less budget, maybe 700K for a couple cards, but that's really the budget where a lot of people are at. A lot of people can afford that and everybody gets a guaranteed tots. Some people pack a really good one and they go and build a team around it. And that's where we do make some of these coins. Man of the match Suarez is another one that I really like as well. Maybe not so much as uh, this one looks good to me as well. 700K, it's a bit pricey. And the end forms, yeah, maybe they're good for me as well. 
but I do like this Man of the Match one because it's orange. It doesn't have a dynamic image, but it's orange and it's very rare. Gareth Bale's foot birthday. Um, as we get into some of the cheaper items, I really like this Sergio Ramos Fanta card. He was like 250 yesterday, so he's up a bit right now. But if you see this card at 250, 260,000 coins uh, on Xbox, maybe under 300 on PS, that is a massive buy because his next most expensive card, or his next card, is 1.7 million, the team of the year. Obviously, Live Tots card might be a little bit cheaper. Um, but there's still going to be a huge price gap in there, and that's where you really make the biggest coins. That's why we saw such a huge rise in this Royce card. This is the highest rated Royce card available on the market other than his Tots card, and it's literally 3 million coins less, maybe 2.5 million coins less than his Tots card. That's why you saw this one rise so much throughout the week. So, again, be looking through this squad right here. There's a lot of you know guys that... Obviously, people are going to be looking at some of the most popular players like the Griezmann, like the Isco, you know, like a foot birthday Coutinho, um, maybe some versions of Marcelo. But, you know, don't be afraid to kind of get back here into some of the lower rated cards that are very popular and used in this game. Even a guy, you know, I'm trying to find a, a lower rated card here, even like an 87 Nacho Fernandez, you know, that or an 88 Gerard Moreno, four star, four star. He's 88 rated. He's got pretty good stats and not a tots level card, but still a pretty good card. And he's 88 rated, you know, four star, four star. That's a card people might try to incorporate in their teams. He, you could see him rise from like 35K at a low point. You might see him hit 50K. That's a very a cheap level investment. Um, if you're on a coin uh, pinch and you don't, you have less coins to invest in some of these cards. But again, a guy like Inaki Williams, can you imagine if he gets a Tots card, what it's going to be priced? He's going to have so much hype being a, an OP player that people love and his stats are going to be ridiculous. He's going to be club 90 except for defense if he does get a Tots card. Then you're going to look for this card being a huge, huge boomer next week. This card is very good in game. I did try it. A long time ago so that's one to keep your eye on as well that's honestly probably one of my favorites right there spilled the beans on that one i guess you could say and then of course check on a guy like varan you know this again there's a huge difference between this ucl card right here 99k for this and 96 in his 96 rated card which is like 1.1 million coins the only one um slight precaution I will give you is be careful with these UCL rares just in case they do release some type of SBC that gives out UCL rare cards because Champions League is this weekend. I don't see it happening, but it is possible we did get a Europa League SBC today. So that's one thing to watch out for. Ben Yedder is another good one. Even a Carvajal at right back. This is his highest right back card because that 88 was an SBC. Keep your eyes on this card because if people are going to make a team um, there's probably going to be some better right backs from the La Liga team of the year, but you know, here's a cheap option you can use in your team, especially if you are hybriding a squad with a team of the season Ramos or you know another Real Madrid team of the season player. So watch out for those cards this week. Seriously, go into this FIFA 19 players tab. You can even sort it. You can even sort it by whatever type of card that you want. Just scroll through here, look for popular meta players from La Liga and look at their price graphs. You can figure out what a good investment's gonna be. Of course, you want cards that are gonna be meta, that are gonna be used a lot. Even like a Scream card, this comes into play. Obviously, people are thinking about Scream Busquets. Why not think about Scream Diego Costa as well? Maybe 190,000 coins. He's got 99 pace and 99 shooting. It's gonna be a card that some people are gonna wanna try out. Four star weak foot, great finishing stats. So keep your eyes on that. And there's going to be a lot of market movements this week with the La Liga card. So if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you do have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.